This is one of the studies where it talks about this. This was actually the first um, vitamin C study that I came across. There's over 200. This says vitamin C prophylaxis promotes oxidative lipid damage during surgical ischemia and reperfusion. In essence, what it was saying is that vitamin C, when used to try to prevent free radical damage prior to a surgery, in fact created free radical damage. And this is one of over 200 papers showing the pro-oxidant effects of vitamin C, not the antioxidant effects of vitamin C. And this, you can find these on pubmed.gov, and there's many of them out there. So in this, this particular paper, in conclusion, the study demonstrated that vitamin C supplementation promoted iron-induced oxidative lipid damage. And a pretty, pretty impactful, pretty profound paper. This is another one published in JAMA on vitamin E on lipid peroxidation in healthy people. Uh, the results of this is there was no significant effect of vitamin E on levels of, of urinary 4-HNE or isoprostane was observed. The conclusion is the results question the rationale for vitamin E supplementation in healthy individuals with respect to free radical reduction. It's amazing here that we this is kind of going against what our prevailing thought process was just several years ago. So we now have some kind of concrete published data to show the oxidative effects, the pro-oxidative effects of vitamin C and vitamin E. So um, this is the first paper that we have on protandum, which is the, it's actually, it says the induction of human superoxide dismutase and catalase in vivo. And I want to point that out, in vivo, very, very important. When we're dealing with studies in vivo and in vitro, in vitro is in a very controlled environment, in a laboratory, where you're controlling the environment, where we have the, all of the studies prior to the previous two that I just showed you, were vitamin E and vitamin, uh, vitamin C studies that were in vitro in a very controlled environment. But when you put it into a human being, which is adapting, is undergoes stress, and undergoes all kinds of other things that where the body is adapting constantly, it has the exact opposite effect. So this was the first study on protandum, where it was published in the Journal of Free Radical Biology and Medicine and showed that it reduced oxidative stress by 40 to 70% after just 30 days in 100% of people participating. This was the ABC primetime special, and I don't necessarily need it. We probably most of everybody has everybody seen that ABC primetime video. That was on yeah, YouTube Sean's channel. Okay, so um, just for sake of time, and we got to start a little late. I would go ahead and just pass this up. But it aired on June second, two thousand five. If you go to YouTube, type in Pro Tandem ABC primetime video, you watch it. It's a nine minute video. Uh, well, this is the formulator of Pro Tandem, Dr. Joseph McCord. He actually helped launch the study of antioxidants in 1969 while he was a grad student at Duke University working on his thesis. He co-discovered free radical biology while discovering superoxide dismutase. In fact, he discovered the enzyme, the, the human enzyme superoxide dismutase, and was nominated four times for the Nobel Prize in Medicine for that discovery. Well, he has yet to receive the Nobel Prize, but he did receive the Elliott Crescent Medal in 1997 for the same discovery for the discovery of biology of free radical reactions in living organisms. And that award, which he received in 1997, has also been given to Alexander Graham Bell for his discovery of the telephone, and Henry Ford for the automobile, and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, other people, diesel for the diesel engine, and Orville Wright for, the, for, a, for an airplane. The award is, met, or is issued for somebody scientifically or through other measures has discovered something that would transform human life, Some, a, a major, major shift in advancement of the human species, and Dr. McCord received it in 1997. He's currently the professor of medicine at the University of Colorado, and he's the formulator of Protan and Dr. Joseph McCord. So we have peer-reviewed scientific scrutiny. This is the one thing that I think is uh, that sets ProTandem aside from other, other supplements. It's got six published studies currently. There's 26 that are underway at universities across the world, and they are, private, or they are, they are independently initiated studies and independently funded studies. These have nothing to do with the corporation. They are studied by these universities. Most, most of them came as a result of that first study, which was published in the Journal of Free Radical Biology and Medicine, here, as you see. Um, but we now have a study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association called Circulation. We have another two studies out of Louisiana State University published on skin cancer. And we also have a, published, a study that was just published and conducted at Harvard on muscular dystrophy. These are tier one peer-reviewed published research studies, which in the supplement world is really unheard of, especially with something like this, where there's actually scientific evidence and scientific scrutiny to back it up. It's not just anecdotal evidence or testimonials. So why is protandum so effective? And the, the reason is, is because it has a combination of chemicals, phytochemicals that signal the body's genes to produce their own antioxidant enzymes. And it actually works through a process called synergism. And we've got a study I'm going to show you here a little bit later. 
But the natural process produced these enzymes by the millions, and they're millions of times stronger and more efficient than the current conventional antioxidant approaches that we're taking currently, these direct antioxidants. That's why it's so effective. It's just a million times more strong. This is the study that we are, this was our second study. This was the synergistic induction of heme oxygenase 1 by the components of antioxidant supplement ProTandem. What this is, this is analogous to a recipe. And I, I talk with this, we talk with people when I share with this, is that let's take bread for example. Bread has five ingredients. Our product also has five ingredients. So those, those ingredients in our product are green tea, milk thistle, ashwagandha, bacopa, and turmeric. It's not the five ingredients necessarily, because there's really, I mean, they're all neat, but there's nothing really unique or special about any one of them individually. It's the combination, the synergism that they bring. Like bread, as I said, bread is flour, water, eggs, yeast, and butter. If you throw all of those ingredients in any proportion you think of, and you mix them together and throw them in an oven at 375 degrees, you may or may not get bread, because it's not about the ingredients, it's about the percentages, the proportions of those ingredients. Like say if you follow a recipe and you leave an egg out, or you double the water, or you remove the butter, you're not going to get what you want. It's the difference in the outcome has everything to do with the individual components and their percentages, and that was clearly demonstrated here in this study. This is pretty amazing. And what, what they showed in the study was that protandum, the synergy of protandum, the five ingredients, is actually 18 times stronger than the components individually added up, the sum of their components. So that's what created the synergy, which is the second published paper here, in the, again, in the Journal of Free Radical Biology and Medicine. So as healthcare costs continue to rise, are you going to spend a little money towards obtaining good health or a large amount of money to treat bad health once you own it? This is one of the things that this is a, a kind of a common sense question, but our, as our discussion was, we were talking about the, the, this eating before we started the process here, is that people are most of the time uneducated or they're apathetic. The thing is they need information. And when we have the information to show them and it's scientifically backed, they can now choose to do things that are going to give them a greater health outcome or they can wait and, and be apathetic and be ignorant and just pay for their surgery to have an organ removed or be drugged. And it's really up to them. The key is that it's much more, it's much more cost effective to prevent a problem than it is to treat it once you've got it. And they get a, that's just common sense. So for best results, it's recommended for one tablet per day of ProTandem and one bottle of protanum contains 30 tablets. This is a month's supply. One of the other things that we're talking about with regard to wellness practices or health practices is affordability. And I can't tell you how frustrated I get when people tell me they can't afford to eat organic or they can't afford to buy free range chicken. They can't afford, afford to buy organic eggs. They can't afford to buy these things. So what they do is they buy the factory farm stuff. They buy the unhealthy stuff. Or they take their kids through the drive through at McDonald's and they get a Happy Meal because it is very much more affordable, unfortunately, to eat unhealthy, but this is the kind of thing, is that when something is affordable and it's scientifically backed and it's been proven effective, it kind of takes that argument away. And a price point is very effective. It's only $40 per month plus tax and shipping. And all you really need to do to begin taking this is to fill out an application or go online and do it yourself. But the issue here is effectiveness, scientific backing, understanding, and affordability. The price point is fantastic with this. So there you go. Questions? Anybody have any questions?